Welcome back to the comments section where we dive straight into the heart of America's conversation. Let's get right into it. First up, we have Debbie who says, cock a doodle doo, President Trump rules the roost and the Republican Party. Ha ha, I love it. Well, Debbie, you're spot on in a political landscape filled with bland, forgettable characters. Donald Trump stands out. He's not just participating, he's leading the charge, reshaping the GOP in his image. And let's be honest, the energy, the enthusiasm he brings is unparalleled. And people are drawn to that kind of leadership. Someone who's not afraid to be bold and be loud. And that's what it takes to rule the roost, and that's exactly what Trump does. Next up, we have David, who observes that Trump thinks of others. Biden thinks only of himself. The Chick-fil-A proves that. Well, David, you've cut right to the core of it. The event at Chick-fil-A isn't just a quirky news item. It's a microcosm of leadership styles. Trump with a massive order, thinking of those around him, perhaps a gesture for his team or supporters, contrasts sharply with a self-centered approach that we've seen too often from the current administration. It's in these moments, though seemingly small, that reveal the true character. Trump's actions speak to a broader ethos of looking out for the collective, a stark contrast to the isolation and detachment that we have witnessed from Biden. Then we have Horny George Forge, who says, Good and puny keep having fun. Well, exactly, George, politics has become this dreary, humorless, slog. And Trump's actic, antics, like the massive milkshake order, inject a bit of levity into the discourse. It's a reminder that it's possible to tackle serious issues without losing your sense of humor. And this is what connects him to so many Americans. He's not afraid to be human, to have a little fun amidst the chaos. And then Rhett Army Combat Vet shares a personal anecdote. Chick-fil-A has great chicken soup. The rest is also great. I think Trump was just hungry. He does this all the time. I remember meeting him in a New York McDonald's back in the 90s. He is still the same. Well, thank you for your service and for that story. It highlights a consistency in Trump's character that's rare in politics. He's the same guy now as he was back in the 90s, unpretentious, approachable. And whether it's a McDonald's in New York or a Chick-fil-A today, Trump remains grounded, relatable to the everyday American. It's a genuine authenticity that you really can't manufacture. And finally... RBE but one, re RB, RB but, RB but, RB but one declares, this is why everyone loves President Trump. You just can't help it. And there it is. Despite the relentless attacks, the constant criticism, Trump's appeal endures. It's because beyond the bluster in the headlines, there's a man who, in his own unique way, deeply connects with the people. He's unabashedly himself. And in a world of polished personas and political correctness, that authenticity is magnetic. So there you have it. Whether it's commanding the political landscape, thinking of others, bringing humor back into the public square, or showcasing unchanging authenticity, or simply by being irresistibly likable, Trump's actions continue to resonate with many Americans. And it's clear from your comments that this connection is not just strong, it's deep and it's real. So thanks for continuing to tune into the comments section. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments down below, and maybe your comment will make the cut next time. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.